Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Scream, a franchise that is one of my personal horror fr franchise favorites. Uh, Love Me Some Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street. Scream has always been my personal favorite. It's the one I grew up with. I was born in 91, so I grew up in the era of Scream, the crazy meta humor and the, the crazy slasher kills with the iconic characters and Probably the greatest final girl in all of horror films of Sidney Prescott, but <laughs> I digress. Um, this year, 2023, we're getting a sixth installment to Scream. Yeah, I'm here to talk about is Scream 6. Is it going to be a bad movie? Is it a terrible idea to make a sixth installment to the Scream franchise? Is it going to suck ass? Is it going to be the worst Scream movie ever? Who the fuck knows, right? But here, I'm I'm just here to talk about it. Um, I'm going to say right now, everyone should know, I was not a fan of Scream 5. Or they just call it Scream. I hate that they're doing that with titles now just calling it the original title of the original film and it gets so confusing there's like four halloween movies called halloween i'm just like wait what it's so confusing <laughs> um but yeah i did not like scream 5 i did not and i i love the scream movies like the first two were amazing i have a guilty pleasure for the third one i think the fourth one is like just super underrated and has one of the best killers in jill i love jill as a, as a, as a villain um, just the fifth one, I just felt like it was so cheap, and just, there was no care or effort. The treatment of the legacy characters was insulting, especially with Dewey. It's not the fact that they killed him, it's the fact that how they treated his character before he died and stuff. Just, I, I did not like any of the new characters, I hated the killers, the timelines didn't link properly, like, with Judy's son, and then that Billy had a daughter, and just, none of the timelines add up, and it relies so heavily on nostalgia of the first Scream movie, like, hey, you remember the first one? Hey, remember the first one? Oh, the whole third act is like the third act of the first one. We're even going to go back to Stu's house. Like, everything was just like, it couldn't be its own movie. It had to be like, hey, remember the first movie? Remember how much fun you had with the first movie? We're going to do the same, but with this one, and just, it sucked. It really was terrible. It didn't have good the good meta humor. That's the thing about meta humor. Back in the 90s, it was great because it wasn't always used very often. But nowadays, in 2023, this entire decade and stuff, like <sighs> there's meta humor in almost everything now. Shows and movies and everything. Meta humor is everywhere, and it's getting old and tiresome. Like really getting it's getting old now marvel is like used it to death and stuff like meta humor used to be really funny and it used to be really great and very clever it's not clever anymore every fucking thing that's made now is meta humor winking to the camera and stuff it's just getting annoying now it's not getting it's not funny anymore so if you want to keep going with the scream franchise you got to do something different like you can't just copy the other and more successful Scream movies. <laughs> and Scream 5 didn't really add anything different. It was just lame kills. It's just all playbacks to the first movie. And it didn't even have its own identity. So it was just a really, really painful movie to sit through. And the movie was marketed like it was going to be the most brutal and violent Scream movie. And it wasn't. Scream 4 was a lot more bloodier, a lot more brutal. The opening to Scream 4 was the most insane opening to a Scream movie. Opening of Scream 5, lackluster. And the killer was very obvious. It was not even a good twist. And even how, like, they do the killer with the Scream suit, really stupid. doesn't make sense. It just even the filmmaking, it looks terrible. The editing was so choppy. It, just, it looked like it was filmed... With like low quality cameras and just it didn't look good. The picture quality didn't look good and everything. Just, it didn't, it just wasn't a good movie for me. Critics loved it, but fuck, critics don't know what they're talking about half the time anyway. So 
So now, Scream 6. Will Scream 6 be a good movie? And I, I'm not psychic. I can't predict that. Who the fuck knows? It could be the best Scream movie. Highly doubt it, but I'm going to talk about my reasons why it could suck really fucking bad and probably even, even worse than the fifth one. First off, it seems to going more of over over the top way, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's doing what all the horror franchises are doing, like all the sequels and like the fifth ones and sixth ones. They just go nuts and crazy. They just don't give a fuck about story. They just try to go as insane as possible and stuff. And I'm just like, sometimes that can be fun, but sometimes it can be a little ridiculous. Watch Freddy's Dead. You'll know about ridiculous. This one's almost kind of like a Jason Takes Manhattan vibe. It's Ghostface in the big city. He's on a train. He's killing people on a train. He's in a store with a shotgun. <laughs> I'm telling you, I almost laughed watching this scene with Ghostface with the shotgun. I'm like, what? <laughs> the reason, okay. A lot of people are going to say, like, oh, that, that's badass. That's so fucking cool. This, this Ghostface is so ruthless. He'll fucking have guns and stuff. Yeah, I get it. That is more ruthless. That is more brutal. It's also less scary. If a killer just comes in with a gun and just kills you and then that's it, that's why we don't see a lot of serial killers with guns, like, that's why you see them with, like, knife fingers, or butcher knife, or, like, screams knife, or Leatherface with a chainsaw, or Jason with his machete. The reason those are more scary is because they're slower, and they take a lot more work, and it, it's not over in five seconds. Because if every killer had a gun, everyone would just die in one second, just shot to the head, dead, that's it. That's not scary. Guns aren't... Like, well, guns are scary, yes, but guns in, like, a horror movie, just a killer just shooting people, and that's it, it's not that scary. You see, like, what I'm saying? Like, it's not that scary. It's not. Like, I know the Predator can be kind of scary, but it's not because of his guns or his technology, it's the look of him, the fact that he can camouflage, he's got these two fucking blades and shit. It's the fact that you can't ever see him half the time makes it scary. And the fact that it laughs like a human, there's, there's other things that make the Predator scary. But Ghostface with a gun is not scary. It's more funny to me, actually. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> his mask looks cool. I'll, I'll admit that. The, the, like, the kind of like the kind of looks like old and dirty i kind of like that it looks pretty cool and jenna ortega is in the movie and like everyone's like praising jenna ortega now because of wednesday i saw wednesday it's an okay show she was really good in it i'm predicting she's the killer in this movie i'm just saying i think she's good to be the killer it would just be an easy thing for them to do because jenna ortega is such a big thing now Making her the killer in the movie just seems like the right option. So I'm going to predict she's the killer. I didn't even see the movie yet. I don't even know. Like, I'm predicting Jenna Ortega is at least one of the killers. There's always, like, two. I think Scream 3 is the only one that had just one killer. Uh, I think Jenna Ortega is the killer. I'm predicting it. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know much about the story. I just predicted she's the killer. But this ghost face keeps saying in the trailer, I'm something different. You haven't faced anything like me. And I'm like... How so? Like, are they going to make him supernatural? Is he going to be a ghost? Is he going to be the ghost of Christmas past? Come to kick our ass? Like, what, 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 what are you... What, I don't know what he's talking about, but he's just like, I am something different. Mm -hmm. I bet he's not. He's just the same probably killer as everyone else and stuff. Like, the reason what made the killers interesting is that their motivations and who they were and stuff... And why they're doing it, how they're doing it. That's what made the Ghostface Killer so cool and interesting. Like in the first one, it's Billy and Stu. And Billy killed uh, Sydney's mom because she was sleeping with his dad. And they were getting like a sick thrill of watching horror movies. And they learned how to kill people through horror movies. And they're like, that's such a fucked up thing. And it's kind of interesting. And the second one is Billy's mom. And then the third one, it's Sydney's brother. And the fourth one, it's Sydney's uh, niece. Not niece. Cousin, sorry. And she wants to be famous. It's all about fame and stuff. And I love that. Because people... It's interesting in Scream 4 because fame is what drives a lot of people nowadays. And people do the most insane things. Like, look at TikTok. People do the most craziest things for fame. And she becomes a killer to be famous. And, like, that is so interesting. 
But in this, in the new one, it wasn't that interesting, really. I was like, really? It's just basic, boring shit. So I don't know what the killer's motivation would be. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but just nothing looks that, like, intriguing. It looks like every horror movie I've ever seen. I know a lot of people are like, this is going to be the game-changing Scream movie, man. I'm fucking telling you, man. It's Ghostface with a shotgun. That has to be good. And I'm like, I, I just, it doesn't look anything different. Like, other than Ghostface is in the city. It's like, okay, Jason did that 30 years ago. <laughs> like, I don't I don't see anything. I don't, I don't know. I don't see I just don't see it. Like, I don't know. There are cool moments. Like, I, I think the train scene is kind of cool that everyone's got Ghostface mask on. But again, they did that in the second movie. That's how the second movie opens. It's all the ghost faces in the movie theater. That was just a train. We've seen that before and stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, just I, some of the kills look the same and everything. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. And they're focusing on the girl from the previous movie. I always thought she was such a boring character. <laughs> I don't know where they're going with this. It just From the trailers alone, it doesn't look like anything special. And just, uh, I don't know. And then, there's no Sydney Prescott. And I, I, like, she makes those movies. Sydney Prescott is the best character in every single screen movie. She's got a great personality. She's kick ass. She's got a lot of emotionality. She puts a lot of weight into the role. And there's so much stakes going on when Sydney Prescott's taking on the killer. And, like, it, it, Gail's cool to see and all. But I don't know. It's like, okay, that's fine, I guess. But. Yeah, you need Sydney Prescott. You got Kirby. Kirby's back, which is cool. I love Kirby. She's my favorite character in Scream 4, but I don't know. Are they just going to bring her back just to kill her again? Like, I don't know. If they just bring her back for her to die again, I don't know. I think that's just so stupid. I don't know. I feel like they're just trying so hard to bring the fan surface. And be like, hey, come on, guys. You guys see this? Like, Kirby's back. See, Gail's in it again. Like, come on, guys. It's Ghostface with a shotgun. Like, be excited for this stuff. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. Um, if it's anything like the fifth one, critics will love it, and the new generation will probably enjoy it, because it's something so unique, I've never seen this before, even though they did it more than 20 years ago, but I don't know, it just seems like the same old shtick, and I personally, I'm not that excited for it. I know everyone's hyped from this trailer, and they're like, yeah, this is it, man, this is, I'm like, to be honest... What sixth installment is usually really good, other than, like, a Harry Potter? <laughs> it's, it's like, like, seriously, like, it's the sixth installment of a horror franchise. That's not usually a good thing. And just it feels like they're just really milking it now. I don't know. Just, I think it's going to suck, but who knows? What do you guys thought? That's thoughts and opinions. Do you, are you excited for Scream 6? Do you think this is going to be the best one? Or you just don't care anymore. Let me know in your thoughts and opinions. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, for this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.